The Castaic family is trying to find their two-year-old daughter who may be with her father. Toddler Shay Rebel was reported missing November 21st. She is described as white with blonde hair, approximately three feet tall, and weighs 26 pounds. The situation is still under investigation. Los Angeles County Fire Department officials extinguished a brush fire that was reported initially as less than an acre near Pamplico Park in Saugus. The fire was reported at 2.56 p.m. The fire grew to one and a half acres before it was extinguished. There were no injuries reported and no structures were threatened. Two super scoopers and two helicopters were called out to aid in the fire. A second fire broke out in a median along Lyons Avenue in Newhall and was extinguished shortly thereafter. Winds picked up just after the fire was extinguished. One viewer sent in a photo of a tree displaced by strong gusts. Winds are also to blame for a toppled billboard near Railroad Avenue and 15th Street. Coming up, where was the warmest location in the country on Wednesday? Here's a hint, it's local. More after the break. SCV Newsbreak is brought to you by Action Family Counseling. My relationships were affected by my addiction in ways that are almost hard to describe. I lost, I lost that trust and that, that sense of intimacy that you have with your family. Everyone says that, oh, it's just a plant, like you can't get addicted to it, but like really, it is addictive. If you're doing it all day, like every day, it's just like, that's all your life consists of is smoking weed. Like, then it's addictive. Think your son is, you'll never know, because it, it is hard to hide, but if you try hard enough, you can conceal it. There's no face to addiction, like, your next door neighbor could be an addict and you have no idea. People we deal with are great people. They're just making bad choices. So if we can help people make better choices, everybody wins. And I love you very, very much. Soledad Canyon Road and Railroad Avenue may look nicer if a proposal to remove more than 100 billboards is approved by the city council. The Metropolitan Transit Authority wants to remove 118 billboards in the Santa Clarita Valley in exchange for three digital billboards along Interstate 5 and State Route 14. The Planning Commission voted 3-1 to one on Tuesday to send the council the proposal. Stephen K. Peoples is here to give us the entertainment beat. Stephen? Well, thanks and happy uh, belated New Year to everyone. Now, Friday night at JR's Comedy Club at Marie Callender's on the Old Road, you can catch celebrated comedian Don Friesen. He's a two-time San Francisco International Comedy Contest winner and a frequent Vegas performer. Friesen also has a riotous Showtime special out titled Ask Your Mom. For more info and reservations, call 661-259-2291 or visit ComedyInValencia.com. Noise and confusion, you can't say it. A Saturday night, SCV YouTube and House Blend star Sarah Nimitz and her celebrated guitar partner WG Snuffy Walden make their debut at Salt Creek Grill. It's also Sarah and Snuffy's first local gig in a long time. They're usually playing in the Valley or LA somewhere. Stunning vocals by Sarah, stellar guitar work by Snuffy, starting at 9 p.m. and they're on until midnight. There's no cover charge. Call 661-222-9999 for more info. Now, if you just can't get off the couch, though, you can also catch Sarah and Snuffy's most recent house blend appearance Saturday night at 10. It's hosted by Hi, and truly, the house and blend on SCV live at scvtv.com and broadcast on Channel 20. You'll find lots more local entertainment news 24-7 at hometownstation.com, scvnews.com, and my blog, peoplesplace.com. I'm Stephen K. Peoples with the SCV Entertainment Beat. Back to you. Thanks, Stephen. Saugus was the warmest place in the United States on Wednesday, reaching 74 degrees. Cloudy skies covered the Santa Clarita Valley for most of the day today, but the sun broke through and brought temperatures into the 70s. Highs reached 70 degrees today, slightly lower than yesterday. Sunny skies and breezy conditions with highs in the low 70s are expected over the next four days. Well, that's all we have for today. For more news and information, visit hometownstation.com or scvnews.com. Thanks for joining us. I'm Dave Caldwell. SCV Newsbreak is brought to you by Action Family Counseling.